Okay, so this video is going to be about Bruce Lee captions. Limited hardback by Steve Courage. I got the uh, last copy after it was sold out. Um, they all sold out. I missed this book. I usually try to stay away from too many of the uh, Bruce Lee Forever paper uh, poster magazines. They just became too uh, redundant. I couldn't keep up. Um, but when it came to the hardback books, like the limited hardback books, like Mandarin Superstar, or, you know, real important books, I felt like this was one of them. And uh, these are the type of books that I just uh, kind of limit myself to when buying the uh, more modern stuff from uh, Steve Courage. He puts out some good uh, quality books. So the front cover right here, this is kind of like a glossy type of um, real thick paper that was stuck onto the front cover. See on the top right there, it's part of like folds in the back. Um, and this part right here is more of like a cloth material. I'll try to get close to show you. It's got like a canvas feel to it. And then the Bruce Lee captions, it's in uh, like a foil with white. Really beautiful. So yeah, this is the, was the very last copy and I was able to get it. Um, and it comes in a like zipper type pouch, like a little lap, mini laptop pouch. It's beautiful, it's like a portfolio. This is the first book I've seen put out by Steve Courage or any any Bruce Lee book that came with this uh, little pouch. I love it. Awesome presentation. So, uh, yeah, only 100 copies of this were made. And this is a classic lay flat style book. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside. So what they mean by lay flat is when you open the book, the pages lay completely flat. See that? There's a, uh, in most books, in the binding, it bends right here and it bends right here. Like it, like it rolls, it folds, right? And that kind of gets in the way of the visual uh, aspect of the photo. So yeah, this is on, uh, the paper is uh, from the Zen collection. I guess it's like a thick GSM stock paper. I mean, the paper on this is thick. Look at that. You can see that. It's almost like a, a, like a cardboard real thin cardboard but thicker much thicker than paper um so yeah what's cool about these two is this source for the photographs were taken from the original negatives um and these were in full frame so that means that uh the photographs were not cropped like on the edges they were not cropped uh there's no water marking on them usually uh collectors that own original negatives or original photographs um when they put them out to the public though sometimes they'll crop them or watermark it which is understandable because it's their property um i don't tend to watermark any any uh photographs that are not mine unless i because uh, i own original photographs if it's my property i'll watermark it i understand why they crop them too because um, when they put post them put them out in the public to share a lot of fans will take these photos and they'll post them as theirs or someone will try to publish it in a book and get paid for it or um they'll watermark them which is a good way to uh, you know protect your property i i don't uh like to watermark uh the photographs that are not mine uh let's see and this is a uh, sign number 13 out of 100. i don't really care about the uh the numbers because that doesn't really uh, mean that you got number 13 because we before they're signed we don't know which ones were uh, came off the press first because they came they come shipped in boxes and they're unsigned so how do you know which one came is the real first one that's just number 13 that doesn't mean that it's actually number 13 so yeah that's not those are not usually things are not too important to me um, here's an, here's another photo of Bruce Raymond Chow January 1973 uh this is a little company a little party for um at the filming for enter the dragon starting yeah. enter the dragon film was filmed from january to april 1973 12 weeks that's why john saxon's uh little photo portfolio is called 12 weeks in hong kong here's another beautiful shot right here look how, look i look like you don't see any bend in the middle that's what's cool about this you get the photo in full frame and you get all the detail, little information, you know. So November 3rd, 1971, Ocean Theater, Kowloon. This is the uh, the second big screening for the big boss, uh, for the Boy Scouts. 
flip the page. There's another nice photo. Let's see this one, the press conference for the big boss. When Bruce arrives back to Hong Kong at the Kai Tak Airport. I mean, I just look at the paper, how thick that paper is. I mean, you can even see on the, uh, the white part, <laughs> it's thick, thick quality. The print quality on, on the on the images is really nice. The design, the layout's nice. The, the fact that it lays flat is just a beautiful book. This was like a must have. There's a Golden Harvest Company party from February 1972. Like pretty much all the information in this book, I, I already know, but it's just uh, looking at the pages, the feel of the paper, um, the design of the book, its presentation. This was a nice one to have. I'm really looking forward to the making of The Big Boss. I had pre-ordered that one. Um, that's probably going to be like the best uh, and probably, I believe, the only book on the big solely The Big Boss. I mean, Mandarin Superstar was mainly on the Big Boss, but it was like a timeline from 69 to 71. So it had other things in between, and well, other things before and uh, after the Big Boss, as well as the Big Boss. So, almost done going through this. Now that this is completely sold out, um, I know the prices are going to be pretty high. I'm glad I snagged this up and decided to get it. And there's the back side of the book. On the Fly Productions. Only sold at uh, BruceLeeForever.com. Alright, and that's it for the review. Thank you for watching.